Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to go through the gunna. The gunna emanates from the nasal cavity, which is also referred to as the khayshum in Arabic. They are the hole in the nose that continues back towards inside the mouth. It's a sound that comes out or emanates through the nose and it flows from the back of the throat through the mouth passage. The gunna is a sound and not a letter. So there is no effect of your tongue on the gunna. The gunna is applied on the following two letters, the mean and the norm. Inshallah, let's go and discuss now on the next slide. What exactly do we mean when we say gunna? Gunna is a humming sound that emanates through the nose, as we've mentioned. If you pinch your nose and try and do the gunna, it will be incorrect and too heavy. And inshallah, we'll show you some examples of a correct and incorrect gunna. The nasal sound, as we said, it, it emanates from the nose and it is applied to the letters of norn and meme. Now, in these images, you can see the tongue in the letter of meme is neutral. It doesn't touch any of the teeth of the palate. Whereas the norn, the tip of the tongue touches the top two central incisors but it touches the point behind the gum line and the median point of the gum line and the back incisors. And that is the mkharij of norn as well. So when you're doing the gunna of norn, you will leave the tongue there and do the humming, the mmm or mmm sound, which is the humming sound that comes through the nasal passage. If I pinch my nose and try and do it, mmm, mmm, that's incorrect. Inshallah, we will look at some examples. There are four levels of gunna. Obviously, when we go through the meme second rules, we will inshallah explain what each one means individually. The akmal gunna is something that is referred to the complete gunna. And you only find that when the letter of meme and noon has a shadda on it. And that is because there are two noons and two memes in that letter. And that there are two letters in one, they are merged, and that is what makes it one of the longest gunna. So when we say complete gunna, what we are referring to as the long gunna in duration in the time. Then we have gamala gunna. The gamala gunna means basically the mima no sakin, which we do ikfa on, which is hiding. And the mima and the noon, or ithar, based on the letter of ithar, or the letters of ithar, which are the remaining Arabic alphabet. So here we're talking about the letter of fa and here the me. And obviously the, the letters of yelmo after non sakin and then we. So the rest of the Arabic letters fall into this category. And obviously, we, as I've said, that we will detail these in the non sakin uh, video that we will inshallah upload. So nakisa gunna means the incomplete gunna. And then the Ankasa Gunna is the most incom incomplete Gunna. And why is it the most incomplete Gunna? Because it applies to the Mutakharik, which means the vowed mean and the vowed no, and there's no Gunna on this. So the ranks of Gunna, as we've seen, the most complete Gunna, it basically refers to the longest Gunna. And it is apparent on the noon and Mim Mushaddad, the letters with the Shadda on it. There are the non sakin and the tanween that follow the letters of Ibgar, which are Yenmu, Ya, Mim, No, Nawal. Then you have the complete gunna, which is the longest gunna after the first category. And it is apparent in the Mim Sakin, which we make Ikfa on, which is the letter of Far. The incomplete gunna is a gunna that is shorter in timing than the first two categories. Um, it is applied to the noon and the mean um, second letters, which is said as idhar, which means it's said apparent. And there's no there's no gunna here, there's no homing, there's no gunna. We only make gunna on the first two. And then in the last category, it is the mutakarrik, and it's the shortest gunna. Like, uh, here we have a gunna, but it's a short one. Again, here you won't you won't see it apparent on this one, on the last category. On the first two categories, it will be quite apparent. In this one, it's not as apparent because it's, it's hard, it's, it means being making it apparent, okay? 
so it's that that is the reason why we call it the short earth gunna and then here it is the incomplete the most incomplete gunna the mechanism of pronouncing the meme mushaddad is when you're doing the gunna of meme how do you do it you need to you need to go to the maharish the articulation point for the gunna so when we're doing and the, the gunna is only on meme and no so if i want to do the gunna on meme i'm going to go to the articulation point of meme and close the lips together to pronounce the meme i will keep it closed as when making gunna okay from we're making it from the nose nasalization the mechanism of pronouncing the noon mushadad is to keep the tongue in its articulation point and that is to place the tongue behind the front two incisors because the the maharaj of noon is where is when the tongue touches the back part of the top um, central incisors so behind the top central incisors and the articulation point for me it is from the lips so when we go to gunna we will go back to our articulation points um and that's where inshallah we'll go and there is a correct and incorrect way of doing that uh whenever the letter noon and name have shadba on it they are held for a period of time with the gunna so this is basically just reiterating the fact that this will have to be a complete gunna and the, that's what it says here the most complete and that is referred to as a most complete gunna because of the length of time that we are holding it inshallah let's look at some examples okay so obviously inshallah we'll go through these in more detail when we do the um, rules of me but if i say if i want to do gunna here if i say mim i'm not doing that's wrong because what i'm doing is restricting the sound so if you pin so that sound is the same the second sound that i made it's the same sound that you will get if you pinch your nose and when you pinch your nose what you are doing is not allowing the the gunna to emanate through your nostrils okay and that's where it should it should come through that passage so if i say ming that's coming out naturally but if i say ming or if i pinch my nose now ming, okay it's a bit more stronger but this the second and the third um methods are incorrect so here we have a no second so i want to say um 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 okay but some people are doing um 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 and that's too strong and it's wrong it's um um it's softer here we say mim mim baini mim baini mim bay okay so here i'm doing if i'm hiding the meme now mim okay here mim ma i'm not hiding it mim ma and it's long and there's a and there's a and here mim baini mim baini and also you have to ensure obviously because i'm demonstrating i've made mine longer it is not supposed to be that long so here if i try if i do it again now so it's shorter than this one inshallah as you um get gain the experience and confidence of reading you'll understand the different um levels or the different duration of the gunnas um other fledged read books uh, really say that it's a minute apart or varies between a minute and two minutes but really there's nothing that's been documented and it's through experience that inshallah you'll understand how to uh, modify your goodness. Just like I had for watching, well, I'll go on, alhamdulillah,